हेलो एवरी वन आई एम श्योर दैट यू ऑल आर लविंग दिस सर्चिंग सीरीज नाउ इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो आई एल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट इंटरपोलेशन सर्च विच इज़ अ न्यू टाइप ऑफ अलगोरिदम विच इज़ वाइडली यूज फॉर सर्चिंग इंटरपोलेशन सर्च इज प्रोवन टू बी द बेस्ट सर्चिंग अलगोरिदम वेन द डेटा इज यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड सो नाउ लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द अलगोरिदम इंटरपोलेशन सर्च वर्कस only on sorted data the first step is to set the first element's position as low and the last element's position as high then we need to compute the interpolation element's position by the following formula which is low plus high minus low into element that is to be searched minus the element which is located on the low position divided by the difference between the element which is located on the high position and the element which is located at the low position now next step is to compare the element which is located on the interpolation position with the element to be searched if both of them are equal then you need to return the interpolation element's position and stop because it is found now if the element to be searched is greater than the element which is present on the interpolation position then you need to set low as interpolation plus 1 otherwise set high as interpolation minus 1 Finally you will get the element to be searched. Now let's have a look at the advantages of interpolation search. First is that it is an improved variant of binary search because it can find the element in single iteration if the data is uniformly distributed. Its time complexity is o of log of log n. Talking about the disadvantages, first the data which it requires needs to be sorted and it is not recommended to use interpolation search when the data is exponentially distributed now with the help of example i will explain you how interpolation search algorithm works so that you will understand the entire working now here we have taken an example of a sorted array let's find the element 15 now as per the algorithm the first step is to set the low and high values clearly the low is the 0th index and high is the 5th index now the next step is to find the interpolation element's position with the formula so now we will put the values inside the formula low is 0 high minus low is nothing but 5 minus 0 element to be searched is 15 minus the element which is located at 0th index is 10 divided by the element which is located at high index is 20 minus the element which is located as low index is 10 now solving the numerator we get 5 into 5 divided by the denominator is nothing but 20 minus 10 which is 10 now the entire calculation gives the output as 3 so our interpolation element's position is 3 now once you find the interpolation element's position next step is to check the element which is located at the interpolation position is equal to the element to be searched or not so clearly here we can see that 15 is equal to 15 and therefore we can say that the element is found at index position 3 now here we took an example of the data which is uniformly distributed so therefore we have got the element to be searched in just one iteration hence in this particular case the interpolation search proves to be the best now let's take another example of an array which contain the data which is exponentially distributed now let's see how interpolation search works in this case let's say we need to search for the element 54 from the given array first step is to define the low position and high position low value will be 0 and high value will be 5 next step is to compute the interpolation elements position by the help of the formula let's plug in the values in the formula and therefore after calculating we get the answer as 0 therefore in this case the interpolation elements position is 0 next step is to compare the element which is located on the interpolation position with the element to be searched here our element to be searched is 54 and the element which is located on the interpolation position is 
clearly we can say 10 is not equal to 54 but we can say that 10 is lesser than 54 therefore we will make low as interpolation plus 1 therefore our low now will be 0 plus 1 which is 1 now again compute the interpolation elements position with the help of the formula plugging in the values we will get the interpolation elements position as 1 now again compare the interpolation elements position with the element to be searched the element which is located at interpolation position is 20 and the element to be searched is 54 clearly 20 is lesser than 54 therefore we will make low as interpolation plus 1 hence our new low will be 1 plus 1 which is 2 and high will be as it is now again compute the value of the interpolation elements position with the help of the formula putting the values in the formula we get the interpolation elements position value as 2 in this case now again compare the element which is located on the interpolation position which is nothing but 54 with the element to be searched which is again 54 now clearly we can see that 54 is equal to 54 after comparing therefore we will return the position and stop hence our element is found at index position 2 now in this case where the data was exponentially distributed we can clearly see that the number of items were actually high when compared to the previous case that we have seen when the data was uniformly distributed so here it is not recommended to use interpolation search we will code for this in the next video. Like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.